Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? It's Winning Cures Everything. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. Today, we have our green light behind us. That means we're talking money. That's right. Today, we're talking about our NFL playoff predictions, our Super Bowl predictions, and our five favorite NFL regular season win total over-unders. We're giving you all of them. We're going to make you a little bit of money. We're going to let you know what's happening. Go over to winningcureseverything.com to find more information about us. You can follow us on Twitter. I'm at GaryWCE. I'm at Chris B. Giannini. And the show is at Winning Cures. You can follow us on Facebook. We're on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Tell us your favorite bets. We'll try and keep up with as many as we can. We would like to see what you think is going to happen this year. So leave you a comment on the YouTube. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave us a nice five-star review. If it's funny, if it's entertaining, if it is informative, we will probably read it out on the show. So make sure you leave those reviews for us. It helps out more than you can understand. We do appreciate them. Yes, we really do appreciate the support. We thank you for listening to the show and for watching the show, etc. The show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six wonderful sports books. We are a fan of all of them. Go over to tunicatravel.com. You can find more information on all of them there. Let's fire in. I'm ready to talk about some money. NFL playoff predictions. You want to start with the AFC? Sure. Wherever you want to go. Let's go with the AFC. We'll start with, uh, let's start with our division winners. All right, so my number one seed is going to be the New England Patriots. So I got the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, the Patriots, I've got 12 and 4. Um, you know, the Chiefs, 13 and 3. 13 and 3, okay. Uh, two seed for me, the Los Angeles Chargers. I've got them at 11 and 5. Uh, I think they win the, uh, the AFC West. Who my, you got at number two? My two seed is my Cleveland Browns. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay. Number three seed, I've got the Indianapolis Colts. Who I've, got, got? I've got the Patriots. Patriots is a three. Number four seed, I've got the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I've got the Indianapolis Colts. All right, and then our wild card teams. My first wild card, I've got the Kansas City Chiefs sitting at 10 and 6. And I've got the LA Chargers, so we're there on that. And my sixth, uh, sixth seed, the Cleveland Browns. I think the Browns make the playoffs this year. So... I've got like three teams that are all eight and eight. I've scratched them off, changed them multiple times. Screw it. There's a team I had seven and nine. I think they'll finish eight and eight, maybe nine and seven. I'm giving it to the Bills. Wow. I like the Bills this year. Okay. okay. I can't. I, originally, I thought it was going to be the Broncos. I've gone back and forth on it being the Texans. I thought, you know what? I forget it. I Let like me. Sean McDermott. I'm riding with Buffalo Bills. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now let's move into the NFC. We'll talk about who we have in the Super Bowl after this. The NFC, I have got the New Orleans Saints as my number one seed. I like Sean Payton. I think this is the uh, the all-in on getting Drew Brees another Super Bowl. Uh, we agree. I got the Saints. I like Sean Payton. I think last year was all-in. Then I've taken the foot off the gas from last year. Okay. No different. Number two seed, I've got the Philadelphia Eagles. I think they're going to be fantastic this season. Uh, maybe maybe top two roster in the NFL? Top two or yeah, three? Yeah, like the Eagles. My two seed, I'm going with the Vikings, though. I, I love this team this year. Number three seed, I've got the Los Angeles Rams. So I've got them at 10 and 6. I think you like them a little more than I do. Um, but yeah, I like the Rams 10 and 6. Well, my three seed, I've got the Eagles. Eagles, okay. Um Number four seed for me, the Minnesota Vikings. I think they win the, the division. I, I like the Vikings. I like Zimmer. Uh, I think Kirk Cousins gets them there. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about Super Bowl here in a minute. And here's where I have the Rams. Okay. So. Number five seed, our first wild card. I've got the Dallas Cowboys. I've got the Chicago Bears. I felt a little weird about the Cowboys. The Bears are my sixth seed. Uh, I think the Cowboys win uh, whatever kind of tiebreaker they would need. Um but they've, they've got a little bit of an easier schedule, and I think Zeke does eventually come back, like you and I talked about in the previews earlier this week. Uh, 
but yeah, I like the Bears as the sixth seed, so you would have the Bears against the Rams and the Cowboys against the Vikings. I've got the Panthers as my sixth seed. I, I'm really high on the Bears this year. I'm really high on the Panthers this year. Uh, as far as matchups in the AFC, I didn't give those. I've got uh, the Browns against the Colts and the Steelers against the Chiefs in the first round. Uh, and then after that, of course, Chargers, Patriots uh, is the one and two seed. And then NFC is one seed, two seed, uh, Saints and Eagles, like I just said. Um, let's see, what are, what are the matchups for? Patriots, Bills, divisional opponents. Okay. Um, matching up. And then Colts, Chargers, which I think would be an unbelievable game. Oh, that'd be fantastic. And uh, and then I, I would have the Eagles and the Panthers, incredible game. And then Rams and the Bears. Incredible yeah, game. Be a lot of fun. I mean, I think the NF, my, my NFC picture would make me so happy I, if I can make this happen. Talk about big time viewership numbers. Yep. Whew. All right. As far as the Super Bowl is concerned, out of the AFC, I have got the LA Chargers making it to Phillip Rivers' first Super Bowl. They are plus 700 to win the AFC this year. I, I would be pretty ecstatic if the Chargers could make the Super Bowl with Rivers. And win a Super Bowl with Rivers. Yeah. I think he's deserving of one. Um, to see him go through his entire career, be as good as he's been, and not have a ring is a, I mean, it's a little sad. Or just, or not even, not even get to the Super Bowl. And I didn't get there. I, it, until <laughs> until things change, I'm just gonna go with the Patriots. I know that sounds like the homer pick, but I I can't see anybody beating them in in January. That's the problem. I, it don't I, matter if they go on the road. It don't matter if they play at home. It doesn't matter when when it gets down to dick cutting time. This team is better than everybody else. I I am very concerned with what they do with the absence of Rob Gronkowski. Oh, their roster is out of the six teams I have making the playoffs. They got the fifth best roster. Yeah, I'm not arguing that. But they, but they were able to lean on Gronk a lot. In, in major, major situations. And I just wonder... He only had like nine catches in the whole playoffs. I, I know, but it, they could... It, literally, one command from Tom Brady, and he switches from uh, just an unstoppable receiver to an unguardable blocker. Like, he he could do everything. Like, he's, he's one guy but that... He's going to hurt. It's going to hurt not having him. Yeah. I just have a... Until somebody shows me how they're going to beat him consistently... That makes sense. Makes sense. Um, I know that's the boring pick, and so it's got, got terrible odds. I, no, I understand. Plus three twenty-five to win the AFC. That's, that's garbage that's still, odds. That's still plus odds. Yeah, but plus, I, look at their roster, man. There's I no understand. reason. I there's understand. no reason they should be. I mean, they should be like a plus twelve hundred. If yeah. it wasn't Tom and it wasn't Bill, they would be plus twelve hundred. Yeah, I agree. I got the Saints going out of the NFC. They are plus five hundred to win the NFC. I think I've got the Vikings. I really like the Saints. Here's the thing. The way my NFC would shape up, that would mean the Vikings would have to go to New Orleans to play this game after New Orleans has been heartbroken last year yeah. and the year before against the Vikings. It, well, that's it, why would, it would be one of those things where it, it's it's almost impossible to believe it could happen three times in a row. But it might. But it might. But it might. It might. Um I think with the with the Saints, right? Like it, when you give a really really good team a chip on their shoulder, like it is really tough to stop. Them, right? I agree. I like think they, they're going to they, be a juggernaut all they year. They didn't feel like they got screwed by by the, the Vikings. Vikings. Play. No, they just they just made they a bad it. play. They made yeah. a yeah, they blew it. But now it it feel to them it feels like. Somebody kept Well, they went out. through the entire season last year with that we blew it, we're not blowing it this year mentality. They beat the hell out of everybody. And and then they feel like it was taken away from and then, them. Yes. And now if if you can imagine them going even harder. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. If the Patriots play the Saints, I think the Saints beat them in the Super Bowl. If my Patriots make the Super Bowl against the Saints, I think the Saints win. I think if they make it against the Vikings, I think the Patriots can beat the Vikings. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. Um, I've got the Saints beating the Chargers. And to to win that, that is plus 1,000. I'm going to tell you that that is going to rip the heart out of Chargers fans because Rivers is finally going to make a playoff, a Super Bowl, not a playoff, and he's going to lose to Drew Brees. Yeah. Like the once heralded son of San Diego. 
Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about storylines? That's kind of that's good gracious. I mean, that's that that would absolutely. I would be. Last year, that was my Super Bowl pick. Yeah, Chargers, uh, uh, Saints, and um, it, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset if it happened. I think the Chargers have to get Melvin Borden back in the in the lineup to to make it to the Super Bowl. And I, I think they to will. make a playoff run. I think without him, they can make a wild card. But to make a real playoff run, he's that big of a difference. They they're not going to go through this whole season without him and not miss him. Yeah, and that's when they'll miss him. Yeah, I can understand that. You ready for NFL over unders? Come on. 